While making my videos, I've covered a number of different species of birds, including some quite exciting relative rarities. However, I found I've done a little bit of a disservice to one of the more common birds in the area, one that should by all rights be our unofficial mascot. And so I must extend an apology to a very common local breeder in the natural area, the least flycatcher. The least flycatcher is one of the smallest of North America's aerial insectivores, which is a taxonomic group of birds that instead of collecting its insects from the ground or from trees, will actively chase after it on the wing. Flycatchers and most aerial insectivores have a number of features that are common to them. The first is the relatively wide bill, which allows lots of surface area to capture those insects. It gives them less margin for error when they're chasing after things on the wing. Secondly, that bill itself is actually surrounded with a number of small whiskers. A lot of biologists have debated on the purpose of these. A while ago, it was thought that they actually aided in insect capture. It helped balance any insects that missed the beak slightly into the beak proper. But a series of experiments of uh, slightly dubious ethical nature were conducted back in like the 50s and 60s that surgically removed the whiskers from a number of flycatchers and found that their capture success actually didn't go down at all. So now the predominant theory is that these whiskers actually act more as safety glasses, helping deflect any missed insects away from their eyes. This makes sense because their eyes are very important in helping to pinpoint and track those flying insects, so it, again, it makes sense to protect them. It helps her bounce any insects that miss the... It helps her... It helped bounce... It helps bounce any insects that, w that aerial insectivores, which is a taxonomic group of birds that dragonflies just, just had a knockdown drag out fight. That was interesting.